Hello, my name is Caroline, and this video is all about cooling your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, last year when the Raspberry Pi 4 was released, I was super excited about it, and I ran out immediately and bought two. I even talked about how I purchased my Raspberry Pi 4s on my channel when I bought them. I'll link to that video below. The Raspberry Pi 4 was touted as an almost desktop replacement with more processing power, but the huge drawback was the amount of heat that it produced. Now I can leave it on all day. I've set up this USB fan to turn on when my Raspberry Pi 4 gets too warm and then automatically turn off when the 4 has cooled down. Here's a little demo. And as you can see, it turned on when it was too warm, it's indicated on my screen, and then when it cooled down, then it stopped. And I'll show you how I did this project step by step. Now let's get started. In this video, I'm cooling my Raspberry Pi 4 when it gets up to 77 degrees and down to 75 degrees with a USB fan and something called the Tinker Kit. Now you're probably wondering, what is the Tinker Kit? The Tinker Kit includes a Tinker Plate, which is the hat for your Raspberry Pi, and this kit also includes a collection of components for Pi enthusiasts. It also includes Python modules to make it easy to code your own project with Tinker Plate. And by the way, this video is sponsored by the maker of Tinker Kit, Pi Plates. Thank you, Pi Plates, for sponsoring this video. Now let's start with an unboxing of this Tinker Kit. The Tinker Kit, open it up and See, we've got the contents. We've got a tinker plate, proto board, servo motor, eight channel RGB LED, integrated circuit LED, temperature sensor, variable sensor, push button, light sensor, motion sensor, range finder, hookup wires, beeper, and screwdriver. Okay, and let's see if we've got all these pieces. Wow, so yeah, here is the motion sensor, photo resistor, We've got the temperature sensor, range finder. This is the beeper. And we've got a servo motor. We have a push button. We have male to male jumper wires, lots of them. And we also have male to female wires as well. And let's see what we've got in this bag. We've got the LED. We have our integrated circuit. We have the hat here. This is the Tinker plate itself. Then we have a small screwdriver and eight channel RGB. And this is the variable resistor. This is the breadboard. These are the spacers so that you can attach the Raspberry Pi to the Tinker board. And here's a resistor. The Tinker Kit works with the Raspberry Pi 3A, 3B, and the Raspberry Pi 4. For this project, you'll need this kit, the USB fan, a USB extension cord that you don't mind cutting up one of the ends. You'll also need your wire strippers, wire cutters combo. You'll need your Raspberry Pi 4. You'll need the micro SD card formatted with Raspbian operating system. You'll need your mouse and your keyboard and your HDMI monitor. And of course, you'll need your power supply for your Raspberry Pi 4. The code for this project is entirely in Python. Now let's start with the hardware assembly of this project. I've got my Raspberry Pi 4 and the hat. We'll start with the Raspberry Pi 4 and I'll put a spicer and then I will take a nut and then do this four times on the four places on my Raspberry Pi. We'll match up the pins from here to here. You've got to get all of the pins perfectly matched up and then press down. Now the hat does come with this piece of foam and that way when you're pressing it down, you don't hurt your fingers. Now it's pressed down and I'm securing the hat to the Raspberry Pi now. The hat is properly secured to my Raspberry Pi 4. Next, let's attach the temperature sensor and also I've got this USB extension cord where we've cut off one end and then I will attach the USB fan to this end. And we've already stripped out the wires. How do we know how to do this? There is a lovely diagram on pieplate.com. I will link to it below. And on my Raspberry Pi 4, let's not forget my very important micro SD card. I'll need to insert that properly into the correct slot 
for the micro SD card. And of course it only fits one way this way and we will um, do that. Now I've got my Tinker plate securely attached to my Raspberry Pi. And now let's wire up our temperature sensor and our USB fan. Now for our temperature sensor, I've inserted it right here into our breadboard. It's got three leads and then I have a black wire for ground. Then there is two red wires for power and then there is a yellow wire and that is for the signal. Now, how does this all work? Let's take ground to ground. We also need the ground wire from our USB fan and we're gonna insert both of these into the ground contact. So I'll unscrew this with our included screwdriver and then insert the ground wire of our temperature sensor and the ground wire of our USB fan. And I will tighten that up. Next we have the power and I'll attach the power to the second one here. And we use our dandy dandy, handy dandy screwdriver and attach that. And then we've got also the power over here, which is the second port. And of course we need the signal and the signal goes to the last port here and I will unscrew and insert and then screw it back down again. We need the power of our USB fan and that goes into this relay switch and I'll insert that and then screw it down. Here is the hardware configuration settings. We've got the breadboard, we've got the temperature sensor. Now we're gonna move the temperature sensor a bit closer to our Raspberry Pi as we're trying to regulate the temperature of our Raspberry Pi. And of course we need a mouse and keyboard to attach that dongle here. We need to have a monitor. So it's an HDMI monitor to micro HDMI and I will plug that in and then let's plug in the USB fan to the USB fan. And then last but not least, let's power up our Pi. And now I've got Raspbian running on my Raspberry Pi. If you're not familiar on how to do this, I made a different video where I show you how to load the Raspbian operating system onto your micro SD card and install it on your Raspberry Pi. This video assumes you're already up to that point. This is the latest version of Raspbian Buster as of the recording of this video. And this is just a really standard default desktop for Raspbian here. As you can see, I'm already on my home Wi-Fi connection and I am going to start by opening a web browser, Chromium web browser, and I'm going to go to pieplates.com, which has all of the documentation you'll need for this project. And we'll click on documentation and we'll scroll down. We are working with the Tinker plate here and we'll click on getting started. And I'll see the first thing I need to do is enable SPI on my Raspberry Pi. How do I do that? There are a couple different ways of doing it. I'm gonna use the terminal here and I'm gonna type in sudo raspy config. And then I'm going to go to interfacing options and then SPI. I'm going to enable SPI, yes. And now SPI interface is enabled and I'm going to finish. Next, we need to download the Tinkerplate Python modules. And we can do this with a simple command, sudo pip install plates. Right click copy, and I'll go back to my terminal. Right click paste, enter. And now we're going to install the Pi Plates modules. As I said earlier, this is all done in Python programming. This is a great way for you to practice your Python programming. Perfect, it has now been installed. Now we're ready to use our Tinker Plate using Python. Everything's set up. This is really the foundation for you to do other projects with the other modules that came with your Tinker kit. But today we're just doing a temperature sensor. We're sensing the temperature of our Raspberry Pi and to keep it cool, we've got a USB fan. Now for the good stuff from pieplates.com, I'll go to documentation. And from documentation, I'll scroll down to Tinker Plate. We just did getting started. Now we're going to projects and guess which project we're gonna do. Scroll all the way down until you get to the temperature controlled fan. We're clicking on that. And now you see the project. And so first we stripped off our wires from our USB extension cord. And then here is the full wiring diagram. This is how we have our USB fan wired up. 
and of course we have the code. Now there are two sets of code on this website as of the recording of this video. The first set of code actually just works and the second set of code has a little display so you can see the temperature. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the copy button so I can get the code. It says control C to copy. Then I'm gonna go into my Raspberry Pi menu, go into Thani, and I'm going to control V paste and then I'm gonna save this code. And I'm, what do I wanna save it as? I'm gonna call it a tinkerdemo.py, enter, there we go. And now let's see how this works. Looking at the code, let's see, it says the trip temperature is 78 degrees and the hysteris is one. I'm gonna change that to 76 and hit save. Hysteris means that when it gets to 77, that's when the USB fan will turn on and when it gets to 75 is when the USB fan will turn off. This is similar to the thermostat in your own home that I've noticed. So for my thermostat at my home, if I set the thermostat to 76, it waits until it gets all the way to 77 before the air conditioning kicks on and then vice versa, it cools it all the way down to 75 and then my air conditioning kicks off. That is kind of the thought process behind this. This is a relay and it just turns on and off the fan based on this temperature that we set and there's a little display here. So I'm gonna hit run and wow, the temperature's already at 77. Okay, so it just, it just turned itself on, okay? And then we'll let the fan run for a bit and let's see if it turns off at 75. And sure enough, it turns right off when it just drops right below 75. And then we'll see the temperature rise again eventually and hit 77 and then the fan will turn back on. And that is this project. So I can leave my Raspberry Pi 4 on all day, all night now, and this fan is here to cool it down when it needs to. You know, another solution is you could plug the fan directly in and then have it run all of the time. But I just didn't really like having the fan run constantly, in my opinion. And if you look at your regular computer, like your laptop or your desktop, my laptop, the fan turns on when it gets too hot and then it turns off. So the fan on my regular computer, my regular laptop doesn't run all of the time. This gives it more of a temperature regulating experience for your Raspberry Pi 4. There are other really cool projects that you can work with, with the Tinker Hat and the Tinker Kit. So let's go and look at the other projects. Here it's under the projects page. There is an analog panel vote meter, ultrasonic parking assistant, LED night light, battery tester two, battery tester one, measuring temperature, displaying data with a virtual meter, blink and LED. So there's a ton of projects. There it goes again, my temperature of my Raspberry Pi went above 77 and now it's cooling it back down to below 75. This seems to work, and now I can leave my Raspberry Pi on all the time. Uh, there it goes, it is done now. Oh, before I go, there are other ways of doing this project. I'm gonna hit stop. I do wanna show you the other way if you like to do terminal commands and use GitHub in order to do this project instead. So I'll open up a terminal, and we are on the temperature controlled fan project. And if you want to use GitHub instead, you can git clone all of the projects I'll hit right click copy and I've got a terminal window, right click paste, enter, and I'm cloning all of the projects that you saw on the projects page, all of the code. I'm gonna CD into Tinker Plate Projects, copy and paste, enter, copy and then right click paste, enter, and now we're running the same Python script, but from our terminal instead. And you can clearly see the temperature. And when it, once it gets over that 77 degree mark, the fan will turn back on. And uh, so all of these instructions were on the projects page for the temperature controlled fan. When it gets over 78, so I'll just, I'll just use my finger to get it warm here. And yeah, there it goes and then the temperature goes up. So that the default was, I forgot to change it, sorry about that. The default is 78 degrees. When it gets to below 77, it will now turn off, which should be very soon. 
and it works perfectly. This is how you can use GitHub to copy all of the code and then Control-C, you can just stop the program when you want to. So there are two different ways of doing this. Use the way that you like better. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave links below as to how you can purchase the Tinker kit and the Tinker plate from Pie Plates. Go to pieplates.com. Thank you, Pie Plates, for sponsoring this video. This has been a lot of fun, and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye now.